Hey there, my name is Raphael Staip and I will show you what's new in Banana Cake Pop 2. First, we have added drag and drop support to the Document Explorer. Yay! Okay, let me show you how that works. Let's open the Document Explorer and then drag this little file here into Banana Cake Pop 2. And yes, we are sure to move that to this folder. And boom, just like that. But there's more to that, of course. We are now also able to drop files from a computer system into Banana Cake Pop. This is nice when working with file upload. Let me just demonstrate that by dragging this little file of mine into Banana Cake Pop 2. Yes, let's save that. There it is, ready to use. The next thing on the list is Deferent Stream. As of now, we are implementing the latest spec draft. But in addition to that, we are also supporting the previous spec draft. Banana Cake Pop will just figure out which one to use. Let me demonstrate you how Deferent Stream works. For that, I have prepared a little document with a stream directive and a default directive inside the query. If I hit the run button, we will see that we receive the initial request and after that the incremental changes which are arriving sooner or later. Inside the log section we can see that we received multiple patches. The initial patch of course is the initial request, the data we wanted to see immediately. After that we received multiple incremental changes. That was Deferent Stream, yay! Another thing on the list is a small UX improvement for the tab control. As of now, we are supporting horizontal scrolling for mice with scroll wheels. Let me go back to the response section to demonstrate that. Yes, that's cool. The last thing on the list is operation extraction. With operation extraction, we ensure sending only the necessary parts of a operation request, which is the executing operation plus their fragments. It's not just reducing the request size, but also makes it more enjoyable to work with operation document that contain multiple operations even though if we have a invalid or broken operation inside a operation document, we are still able to execute the valid ones. Let me demo that. For that, I will open a document called operation extraction. And inside this document, we have a valid and an invalid query. The invalid query is just invalid because we have there an invalid field. Let me run first the valid query and there we can see it works perfectly and then let's execute the invalid query which will of course result in an error. In previous versions of Banana Cake Pop we wouldn't have been able to execute those operations separately but with operation extraction we are now able. Yay! For more details, go to our blog, chillycream.com slash blog. Until then, see you next time when it's time for Banana Cake Pop 3. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and, of course, the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you and bye-bye.